Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett. Welcome to our introduction to Interface Builder. This is from excelme.com. And uh, every Wednesday night, live at uh, 7.30, or be actually 6.30 Pacific time, um, I cover about a 10-minute example from my book, and uh, uh, Objective-C for Absolute Beginners. And tonight, we're going to be talking about introduction to Interface Builder. And so tonight's just, again, for these little YouTube videos as opposed to in my classes, um, these are just kind of really short introductions. And then I answer questions at the end of it. I usually stop the recording um, and then take questions for about the remaining 20 minutes or so after we go through our topic. And like I said, tonight is going to be on Interface Builder. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode and let's just make a, a real simple uh, iOS application for our iPad, or iPhone in this case. And tonight's app, what we're gonna do, just build a little simple application interface builder that we're going to print out some text in this label after we press on the show text button. In this case, I put press on show text and it prints out Excel me. Well, let's see how we can do that in interface builder. Interface Builder is the tool that you use to lay out your applications, your user interfaces, um, and then you connect your code behind the scenes that does all the heavy lifting for you that actually makes your um, application function the way that you want. So we're gonna make a new project. I'm gonna make it a view-based application, iPhone. Um, be the same if you're doing iPad, it's gonna be a simple app. And I'm gonna call this, uh, Interface Builder Tester. And save it to my desktop. All right, here it is. All right, so let's let's go ahead and just lay some things out. We'll go ahead and work primarily um, with our view controller here, which is the main uh, view for our application. And I'm just gonna drag up this interface builder file, which gets created uh, for us automatically. And that's referred to as a nib file, NIB. That's what they used to be called before. Uh, I think it was Inter or Objective C 3.0. They used to be called NIB file or nib files. Um, X means XML. And so now they're XML based and you can actually view the text of them. But I'm gonna double click on this guy. And that's gonna open up my my view that I want to work with. It's going to also open up my documents directory, which has everything that contains this view, as well as my main view itself. If you don't see your doc, documents um, directory, and your um, attributes, you can simply get to them by clicking on Windows Documents and Tools. Um, attributes. And then also we're going to look at the library, which is right over here, and you can click on library and that brings it all up. And I'm going to scroll down here to the controls that I want to use. The two controls that I want to use tonight are simply a button and a label. And I'm going to go ahead and line up. I also have some references here to make sure I got things lined up centered or moved over as far left as I want to go to. I have these little blue bars that kind of give me from a user interface um, guideline perspective where things should be. And I'm going to add a title to this button called show text. And I'm just going to go ahead and resize that. And I got all kinds of fun little attributes. I can change the background of it. You know, to something of my text, I can do all kinds of things with it. And I'll, I'll show you how to do this next Wednesday night, how to make a custom button um, and add that so you don't have a border. It's a nice image. It looks really professional and clean without much work. I'll show you how to do that next Wednesday night. And then when you press the button, it's going to print out. Um, it's going to print out what we want to print out to our label here. Well, as you can see here, I have a little red dot in my documents right up there. That means I've changed this, this interface file. Before we hop over to our code and connect these controls, we want to save it. I'm going to do a file save, and it's gone now. All right, you see how that's gone? 
and let's go over to our code. We're going to hop over to the interface file for this nib file, which is our .h file, and we're going to add an instance variable and a method to it. And I went ahead before tonight's class and kind of coded this so that you didn't have to watch my uh, the ugliness of my typing. And so I can kind of cut and paste this and get this into a 10 minute video. That's my inner that's my uh, label for my my um, instance variable and here's my method. IB when you see IB that's stri strictly for interface builder. That tells interface builder that this is going to be connected to a control um, inside of it. And I'll show you here in a second. It doesn't it doesn't do anything from a compiler standpoint. All right, so I have a label that's going to hold my label that I want to be printed out. It's of type UI label, which means it can be displayed on a view in a label. And here, <laughs> that's why I don't type, uh, well, I guess I got it right. I'll show label here. And here I have a, a method called show label that when I press is going to get called that's actually going to do something. And it's a it returns a type IB action. It's a type IB action, and that's simply for interface builder as well. So let's go ahead and code this quickly in our um, in our implementation section. Let me copy and paste here. So I want to have happen when they press the button. I want to call this method show label, which is going to print out Excel me to it. All right, well, so I got the code for it, but I got to wire it to this interface. How do I do that? Well, it's real easy. Once you've defined it in your interface section, all you have to do now is to go to your document and your um, bring up your document list and then also bring up your view. Right click on the control and it's going to bring up all the actions that that control can do. In this case, I can touch up inside. That's saying that's the same as meaning they touched inside that button and I want it to call my method that I've de that I've defined and right now it's not showing up let me make sure I save I probably didn't save it it's probably what happened if I save it now it will show up touch up inside I either save it or I got a compiler warning here let me just make sure I got it, it compiles I did everything correctly and let's try that again there it is show label it's showing up I can also go this way too and say touch up inside so now I've connected that when I press that button it's going to send an event message to my controller to call the show label method. Well, now when the show label method goes to um, wants to display the contents of that label, I need to map that instance variable to my uh, my label. So I can just drag my text label instance variable outlet called an outlet, boom, right to my label. I want to save this. Make sure you save this before you go to run it because you'll say, why isn't this working? And you simply didn't save your interface builder. Let's do a build and run. Yeah, it's squawking that this thing's already running. Sometimes it does that. We got to stop the OS and do a build and run. And voila. And you can see it if I hit a breakpoint right here. If I set a breakpoint, you can see that IB action gets called because I've now mapped it. It's going to call the, uh, the it's going to set the text property of my label, my text label instance variable, which is of type UI label. UI label has a property called text, which will automatically display it when linked to our control. And that it does. So with really a couple lines of code, I'm able to do that. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and take questions afterwards. Again, I need to make it short and sweet so it fix up, uh, fits in YouTube. 
And um, you're welcome to join us next week, and I'll go into some more uh, details with how to use Interface Builder, as well as answering any questions from the book that you might have. And I'm going to stop the recording and take questions from those that are attending live. Thanks, everybody.